This is a story a boy meets girl, but you should know up front, this is not a love story. What's going on, y'all? It's your friendly neighborhood gangster, BX Beast Boy. Today, we're going to be talking about Roma Army, the grifter that kept on grifting. Oh, yeah, I'm straight up biased with this one. You see, I was unbiased when I went to go do the research. Then I seen a lot of nasty, nasty things, fam. Yeah, this is a chameleon. Straight grifter chameleon. A female chameleon is a woman who will pretend that she likes the things that the guy likes in order to get him to like her. When she gets comfortable, she'll bait and switch and become a different person, which typically means she becomes an abuser because she is manipulating you into thinking that she was someone else. All that stuff, all that stuff, just mix it all in. Mix it all in. If you don't know who Roma Army is, this person claims to be like a men's right activist or my bad excuse me a men's rights feminist we are the men's rights community that implements a shit ton of feminism oh yeah they, that's the men's right group that focuses uh, on feminism that don't make no sense that's that's dumb that's so stupid in my personal opinion of course i just think that she, I think, so you hear me with her with her ass at the end. I think that she is just not right, fam. I feel like she needs to get a lot of help and she needs to focus on that, right? But then again, I'm not a doctor, but I will be giving some clear examples to show you guys why I have the opinion that I have. So before we get into it, don't forget to hit the like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't, share the heck out the video, man, and watch more videos after this. Get me in that algorithm if you can. All right, let's let's get straight into it, man, because this is going to be a whole lot of nastiness. And I'm, I'm going to try to make it easier for you to digest. The Roma Army says a lot of things that don't make no damn sense. Straight hypocrisies, especially when she talks about the pro men's rights movement. It's like she's just talking out her butt and just saying whatever, whatever. And the, the simps is going to just rock with it oh i'll explain why i'll explain why i call them simps let me give some some clear examples man the first one is the views on child support are, are you serious with that you serious with that she's gonna say so many things that don't make no sense fam i'm telling you even when i'm like just talking on twitter or i'll make like a random statement i'll get people that will try to go back and forth and it's like do you do you actually know the statistics you you don't know that at all oh why oh uh, okay oh you just gonna ask your, your youtube channel and then you gonna act like that's like the entire like whole group of men like there's just your youtube channel that's all men that's dealt with the courts okay uh, all right um however there are women that are they're entitled to that Absolutely. If you fuck up her life, fuck up her mental health and leave her with a kid to look after. Yes, you need to pay her child support. A while ago, at what, 10 months to be exact, I was thinking about his video. I was thinking about how wrong that statement was that the biggest issue men were facing was having to pay child support. And so I asked men and 37,000 voted on my YouTube channel, which is predominantly men and a lot of dads. And <laughs> would you look at that? Men having to pay child support was the least important thing. If the parents are not able to split the kids 50-50, maybe one of them's work schedule is different. So they want to do, you know, a couple days a week with dad, blah, blah, blah. If that is the case, then yes, child support should be paid to the mother because the mother has them for more of the time. However, it should be strictly calculated, looked at very closely at exactly what is needed, exactly what is missing and not a penny more. Not only that, but child support should not be allowed to exceed more than a third of his income. She goes at men with this whole nice guy trope, which I do believe is a, a real thing. I just think that she doesn't explain it right. But then right after that, she tells you what like a, a nice and amazing woman she is. So when, when you're a man, it's the nice guy trope. When you're a woman, it's you just mean what you say. Why is that the case? Miss Men's Rights, can you explain that to me, please? 
Welcome to how good women respond to the term nice guys finish last. If at any point in this video you start to feel pissed off at me, you're probably projecting because this is reminding you of behaviors that you are doing. This one may come as a little bit of a shock, but it is not a turn on and it's actually a red flag for us when you are a self-proclaimed nice guy. A genuinely nice guy shouldn't have to self-proclaim it. I'm a nice girl. Nice guys usually get used by the toxic women that know that they'll say yes to everything that they want. And and then they completely miss us good girls. They completely miss us good girls. It's actually a red flag for us when you are a self-proclaimed nice guy. Now, I heard that she had an OnlyFans. I did my research and now it's a Patreon. It's a Patreon where she puts pictures of herself that, that you can't post publicly if you, if you get what I'm saying. YouTube got these new rules where I can't say certain things. And if I can't say it, that just tells you how nasty it gets. She's real nasty with it. And then she tries to say, oh, it's all personal. You know, I, I get to know these, these fellas before I send them this stuff. Yeah, that, that's crazy. But you're supposed to be men's rights. Promoting simp-like behavior. I feel you. I feel you. And mind you, if you want to donate and, you know, contribute to some woman because she shows you pictures of herself without, without clothes on, Okay, that's your choice. I don't think that's going to do anything for your betterment, but okay. And she, she clearly, she clearly doesn't care about your betterment. Well, let's just put that out there. For the low, low price of $70, you get to see what Chloe looks like naked. This is more encouragement of simp behavior. Why would you pay 70 bucks to see a few pictures of her when you could find free naked pictures of women all over the internet? Chloe has an OnlyFans account. No, I don't. But at this point, I probably fucking should, since so many people believe that I do. Just kidding, it's not happening. I have a Patreon, and yeah, I'm nude on there sometimes, but it, like, it's not what you think. Hey, can I ask you a question, Roma Army? Um, I'm just gonna just call you the whole thing. I mean, I'm not gonna call you by your real name. Um, Roma Army, how, how are you like supposed to be like pro men and trying to help men and lift them up? And you attack incels so much, right? And I'm not talking about just a like a joke here and there. Like you go after them. There's a whole lot of incel hate. Why why you don't want them to become better? Why why won't you teach them how to be active and be social? No, you, you just want to attack them like like feminists be doing? Gotcha. Woke grifter. I'm I'm trying to tell you guys that's a chameleon. I don't think she believes none of the men's rights stuff that she say. So welcome to who are the incels and how do they pose a threat on men's rights movements? Incels hate women. Now, Roma has showed on a plethora of occasions that she can't take criticism. She, she just can't, man. And that's something that's very important. So that's something that you should learn when you become a content creator. This is the internet. There's going to be a whole lot of not only just regular people on here giving you criticism, but nasties as well. So you got to be able to, to take it, right? Especially if you're out here dishing it. You're out here dishing it. You're over there telling people to go dislike the, the content creators that, that talk about you. You send all your fans to go dislike the video, trying to knock them out the algorithm with your shady self. Damn. Let's go run up those dislikes, can't we? Like, damn. She attacks her own followers just because they disagree with her. Just because they disagree. Like the Cal Rittenhouse situation, she went crazy over that. Yes, hello. I'm just here to do a little values check. Just here to make sure that this community aligns with my values. Because well, why would you want to support me if my values don't align with yours, right? Okay, let's go. Um, Kyle Rittenhouse is a little bitch. Um, you're not an alpha. You're just a douche. If anything I just said offends you, please unfollow, unsubscribe, forget about me. In regards to the Kyle Rittenhouse situation... I just want you guys to know that I have gone back, I have done more research, and I would like to genuinely say sorry to absolutely fucking nobody, to nobody. I'm not apologizing to you, stupid. Having a difference in opinion of Kyle Rittenhouse, though, is not where I went wrong. It was the way that I made everybody who supported Kyle Rittenhouse or felt like he didn't do anything wrong. It was the way that I made those people feel like they were stupid, like they were invalid. I projected it in such a way that it made it seem like only I was right. And that was fucking wrong. For that, I apologize. Even Donald Trump. 
she she got a problem with Donald, whatever. But why take that out on your supporters, right? Like if you're supposed to be trying to help them become better men, why do you care if they support Donald Trump? That like makes no sense at all. Please stop commenting on how I need to vote for Trump because of censorship. One, I live in Canada. Two, I've always done my best to keep my political opinions to myself. Let's watch her elaborate on that now. But I don't support a man who lied to his country, caused insurrection, and continues to lie while his organization gets broken down via people who go to jail for tax fraud or a man who bragged about SA women. And I don't give an F how many followers I lose for saying this. I would rather cut off my C word than have the majority of my supporters be Trump supporters. If you are that stupid, that's not my issue. And if I lose followers for that good, you're probably the type of person I'm trying to wean out. I said what I said. And if you don't support me, you guys can argue about it all you want in the comments. But I would rather that you unfollow me if it's that big of a deal. Thank you. I'm going to just flat out say it, man. She's a bad mother. She, she's a horrible mother from the few things that I've seen and heard from her own mouth. Things that she said, like how she planned on deleting herself from the game. If you know, you know, YouTube ain't playing with certain things. So I got to say it a certain way. Um, she tried to, you know, remove herself fully from the game and you got a kid. So if you did that and you were successful, who would have took care of your child? Why wasn't that a thought to you? You didn't care at all what would happen, how they would feel if they would miss you. Of course you did, because this is a bad mother. Long story short, I was in a really dark place. Um, I had an undiagnosed BPD, and it was really fucking up my mind. I was really suicidal. I was really depressed. I was undiagnosed. I took a year off. Uh, I spent that year by myself. And here I am. I came back. And I feel like God was kind of like, now you're okay. Now's the time. <laughs> and now I get to do what I love the most. And I get to do it in a healthy mind state. I'm here two weeks later dealing with traumatic brain injury, a crap ton of amnesia, and very possible brain damage. And I think the saddest thing is that I still couldn't tell you why I did it. I woke up after that week with this amazing appreciation for my life, the movement that I've built for myself, the hard work that I've put in, um, my daughter, the people around me. I'm so, so lucky to be here. And like most bad mothers, what does she do? She has an abusive relationship around her kid. She got some men in there wilding out. Around the child, around the child, man. I think if if any moment deserves a nasty song, let's just let's just play that one more time. Oh, we didn't play it already. Wow, that that's crazy. I'm surprised. And then we definitely got to play it now. Play the nasty song, and and, and then you could play the the clip. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. You nasty fam, you nasty. You nasty fam, you nasty. You nasty fam, you nasty. You nasty fam, yeah. You know your name. You the people that I've tried to let into my life threw it back in my face. Even though they seen that I was a good mom, they seen the connection my kid and I had, they seen how intelligent she was, is. If, if anybody could have spoken to what a good parent I was, it would have been them. All I can think to myself is if these people would just give me five minutes, they would just talk to me, they would see I'm not a bad mom. The reason Chloe is a single mother is because she chose to have a child with a man who was so abusive that he almost killed her. Because of that, her daughter cannot have a relationship with her father. Chloe chose to have a kid in an extremely unstable environment, and the lack of a father is going to create all kinds of boundaries problems for her child when she grows up. Now, I know that she's had a, a really troubled childhood, right? And I have a lot of empathy for that. I grew up in a lot of group homes, right? And I've had a lot of friends who've had similar situations as she's described. Um, my mother was 18 when she got pregnant with me, 19 when she had me. 
Um, she left me at the hospital and didn't tell anybody she was pregnant. Um, the police showed up at my grandmother's door with a baby and was like, oh. And my grandma was like, oh, Valentina did it again because I guess she hid my sister's pregnancy as well. Um, my grandma took care of me for two weeks and then my mom came back and took me and took me and put me in the orphanage. Um, the orphanages in those countries are not like the adoption processes here where a family can just claim that child and be like, yep, yeah, no, I'll be the caregiver. Um, if the mother doesn't consent, it doesn't happen. And so, um, my mom needed to keep me a secret. Understandably so. In Romania, you need a man to survive, so a father or a husband. And the man that she was seeking, who she's been married to for now 20 years, um, still doesn't know about my existence. And two months after I was born, she got pregnant with my younger sister, Madalena, and which she kept. By the age of 14, um, I had already been abandoned by three families, including my birth family. Um, I stayed with my first adoptive family until I was nine, in which I ran away and social services took me in immediately. But that doesn't that doesn't mean that you get to just do whatever you want. That, that don't mean that you're not held accountable. That doesn't mean that you can't receive criticism. That don't mean none of that stuff. And if you thought that's what that meant, you bucking. You straight tripping. You out your mind, fam. But that's just my personal opinion. That's just my personal opinion, fam. I think she's a woke grifter. I think that she will never learn. I think that her support, not even that I, I think, I know that her support has like grown, right? Since she's received the biggest criticism, right? So it is what it is, man. I just wanted to call it how I see it. Tell me what you think down in the comment section. Hit that like button. Watch more videos. Subscribe if you haven't. Also, check me out on Patreon, man. It really does support the channel or sign up for channel memberships, man, or my locals channel. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well. And check me out on my second channel, BXB's Boy Reacts. You should be able to find that on my homepage. And I live stream on that channel and do a lot of bonus videos, a lot of daily bonus videos. Go and check that out as soon as you can. Share, share, share all my videos, man. See you guys later.